Good morning, my grade 10 students. For today's lesson, I am going to discuss a new topic which is new music composers. Last time, I was able to give you or I was able to discuss about the traditional composers and contemporary composers. And we were able to sing some of the songs like for example, you're able to sing Pilipinas Kung Mahal, which is composed by Francisco Santiago. And then you also sang Sa Ugoy ng Duyan, a song by Lucio San Pedro and lyrics by Levi Celerio. And aside from that, I was able to sing and share it to you the song Kay Ganda ng Ating Musika which is composed by Maestro Ryan Kayabiab. Aside from that, she he also composed The Coconut Nut which is compo which is performed by Yoyoy Villame. Okay? So for today, I am going to discuss new music composers. Okay? So, new music composers incorporating traditional music forms as well as indigenous rhythm in instrument in their composition. Maybe some of you here are not familiar with the term indigenous. Means these are the people from an ethnic group, okay, that is indigenous. So, let's proceed with the first composer that we need to tackle. He is no other than but Jose Maceda. From 1917 to 2004, he is a national artist for music. He was born on January 17, 1917 in Manila. Here are his music studies. First, in the Academy of Music in Manila. Paris to study with Alfred Cortot. USA with F. Robert Smith and earned a doctorate degree in ethnomusicology from University of California, Los Angeles or UCLA. Okay? Later on, I am going to discuss what ethnomusicology means. Okay? So as we go along with, the, with our lesson because we will still encounter that term. So we will now continue. Maceda's musical style. 1953 changed when he encountered the music of the indigenous tribes of Mindoro. So he has his own style and then nagkaroon ng pagbabago yung style na yun because he experienced something um, from the tribe of Mindoro and then he believed that those sound that he heard will be used for a kind of music that he will be putting in. Okay? Next, understanding and preservation of Filipino traditional music. Next, collection of recorded music taken from the remote mountain villages and far-flung inland communities. Pag sinabi natin yung far-flung, uh, mga malalayong lugar, mga remote area, remote places, yung mga hindi madaling marating, that is the meaning of far flung i hope you learn another term or another word for today and then his composition compositional approach was about western style combined sounds of the environment and ethnic instruments pinagsama niya yung tunog ng um, ethnic instruments and then yung sound ng environment alam naman natin from sound of the nature di ba yung um, yung bird singing, okay? Yung pagaspas ng dahon, that's the that those are the examples, okay? And then compositions were usually for large groups of musicians. Among his works are Ugma Ugma. Sa amin sa Bisaya ang Ugma. Just to share this one with you, Ugma means bukas. Siguro he used this one. Um, he used this term then pertaining to the word bukas or ugma-ugma. A work for voice and ethnic instruments. And then agungan, these are group of gongs. Gong siya, mga gong. Di ba alam naman natin gong? Gong is an example of percussion instrument. Yung mga pinupok-pok, okay? 
In 1975 din po yan. And then, pagsamba or praising a musical ritual for a circular auditorium using several ethnic percussion instruments. And then, he had cassette 100, a composition for 100 cassette tape recorders. And, eto yung isa sa pinakasumigat niyang kanta which is Ugnayan or re, in other term relasyon okay yun yun Ugnayan an ethnic piece played at the same time over several radio stations if I'm not mistaken from what I read he had 20 radio stations pinapatugtog yung Ugnayan okay yung napakinggan ko it is 53 minutes na pakahaba ng ugnayan because there are certain parts there are different parts rather in this particular song okay he is a fir- he is the first filipino avant-garde composer pag sinabi nating avant-garde um, advanced idea they put something that could help them to have another way of music that means avant-garde okay In 1958, work at a recording studio in Paris. Wow, imagine sa Paris pa siya nag, ano, nagkaroon ng recording studio. I mean, nagtrabaho siya sa isang recording studio sa Paris pa. Okay? Specialized in music con- concert, concrete. Okay? He met Pierre Belize. Carl Haynes Stockson and Yanis Senakis. Etong tatlo na to during their time, they are the giant when it comes to music, okay? They are giants of this kind of genre during that time. And 1952 to 1990, professor of piano and musicology at the Music of Music University of the Philippines. When we say musicology, tandaan niyo yung term na to, ah. Musicology means Um, considering music as part of academic subject. Okay? Yan yung musicology na meaning. And then in 1997, Executive Director of its Center for Ethnomusicology, National Artists for Music, and he passed away in Manila on May 5, 2004. Okay? This time, we will now proceed with our next new composer who is Lucrecia R. Casilag from 1918 to 2008. Napakatagal niyang nabuhay, no? National Artist for Music. August 31, 1918, San Fernando, La Union. Doon siya pinanganak. Went to Manila to pursue a degree in music at the Philippine Women's University or yung tinatawag na yung PWU. She then obtained her master's degree from the Eastman School of Music in New York, USA. Kung napansin ninyo, si Jose Maceda at si Lucrecia Arcasilag, parang nag- nag-aral talaga sila. They pursue their studies abroad or they pursue their studies in other countries maybe because man- nagaling sila sa mayamang pamilya. Kaya they have an access or may kakayanan silang mga pag-aral doon. Kasi kung basta, kung wala ka namang kakayanan, hindi mo madaling pagpasukin yung mga ganong Bagay. So sila, maybe they came from a rich family. That's why they're able to study abroad. Okay? Next, her compositions were influenced by her professors Irving Macos and Wayne Barlow. Ibig sabihin itong dalawang to pala yung nag-influence sa kanya for the musical style that he He, that she has rather okay music styles compositions demonstrated a fusion of eastern and music and western styles in using instruments melody harmony and rhythm he also incorporates indigenous Philippine instruments into orchestral production di ba sa mga orchestra ang common lang natin ng mga nakikita violin piano organ mga ganun lang so She put up um, indigenous instruments, indigenous Filipino instruments in an orchestral production because she believed um, may ibang atake or may ibang ganap kapag sinama yung mga yun. Okay? President and music director, sorry, but before that, she was a former dean 
College of Music and Fine Arts Philippine Women's University. Naging din siya sa school na kung saan siya nag-aral. And then President Cultural Center of the Philippines, CCP, kung familiar kayo. Maraming mga, para siyang event place din na kung saan ginaganap yung mga cultural presentation, mga theater play, dyan, sa CCP po yan. And she was the president. And then President and Music Director of the Bayanihan Dance Company. This dance company is popular during that time. And then, Chairman Asian Composers League and the League of Filipino Composers, she is credited for having written more than 200 musical works, ranging from folk songs to opera to orchestral works, which she continued to compose for the rest of her life. For her life. National Artist for Music in 1989. Imagine na nakapag-compose siya ng 200 music. Napakahirap na mag-compose ng isa o dalawang kanta. Mag-compose ka pa ng more than 200. That's a big gift na, na magkaroon ka. It's really, um, we can say, napaka-genius niya, napaka-gifted niya. Being able to compose a lot of songs. Not only... Um, hindi lang sa isang genre but with other pa. Okay? Kasi lags many compositions are Toccata means a simple piece for piano. Toccata for percussion in winds, 1959. Composed for indigenous Muslim instruments and western instruments. The Legend of the Sari Manok. Alam nyo ba yung Sari Manok? Naging logo din niya ng ABS-CBN. If you want to get the picture of it, meron naman yan sa internet. And then, Diversitismen and Concertante, 1960. Compositions for piano and orchestra combining western and eastern forms, harmonies, and intervals. And she had Dula Rawan, 1969, a musical drama combining a dance solo with a chorus and an ethnic orchestra. Her other works include compositions for piano, instrumental ensemble, and chorus. Imagine, napakarami niyang contribution sa music. Okay? Now, we are going to proceed on our third composer. Maybe sa inyo, marami na kayong nakagigets na idea or learning. You can use them um, for you to be able to answer our examinations as I give it to you. National Artist for Music, February 25, 1941. Sa Pasig po siya pinanganak, Bachelor of Music Degree, College of Music, UP or University of the Philippines. Master of Music Degree, Indiana University, USA. Kagaya din nung dalawang nauna na si Jose Maceda at si Lucrecia Casilan, nag-aral din siya sa ibang bansa. And Doctor of Philosophy Degree and Composition State, University of New York, USA. Graduate Studies in Ethnomusicology, University of Illinois, USA. So here are some of his compositional styles. He had chromaticism. Chromaticism means, nung grade 9 kayo, alam ko naturo na to sa inyo, nung teacher ninyo. Chromaticism means adding color into music or into a song. That's chromaticism. Okay? Music seria and electronic comp components combined with indigenous Philippine music elements. He is the dean of the UP College of Music from 1978 to 1988. Ten years siyang naging dean ng UP. And then head of the UP Center of Ethnomusicology, professor emeritus of the same institution. He was conferred, and we have conferred, he has the right to the title of National Artist for Music in 2014. Conferred means the right or the benefit, parang yon. Okay? Here are some of his works. His works include Dingdinga, Diyawa, Nabasad na Banga, at iba't iba pang pinag-ugpong-ugpong na pananalita sa wikang Pilipino para sa labing anim na tinig and ilban. Okay. Yung salitang pinag-ugpong-ugpong, kung babasihan natin yung paggamit sa kanya, pwedeng pinagsama-sama 
or pinagdugtong-dugtong na pananalita, malalim lang yung ginamit ng Tagalog. Okay? He had done extensive research on the gamelan, o gamelan, di ba, sa Indonesia yan, music of Java, di ba, may dalawang klase ng gamelan, the, yung grade 8 kayo na pag-aralan nyo, nyo to, the Javanese gamelan and then the Balinese gamelan. Javanese, a kind of gamelan in Java, Indonesia, And then, Bali ni is a kind of gamelan in Bali, Indonesia. Okay? So, naalala nyo yun, nung grade 8 kayo, naituro yun sa inyo malamang. Okay? Additional information lang yan, or parang recall lang yung ginagawa natin. Okay? And then, he had done extensive research nga yung sa gamelan. And then, Mansaka, Bolto, Kiyakan, and Boholano tribes in the Philippines. Okay? Nakatatlong composers na tayo. So, Ilan na lang and then matatapos na natin to. I hope nasusundan nyo pa rin at hindi kayo nalilito sa mga terms na ginagamit natin. Kasi bibigyan ko naman kayo ng copy with the terms which are not familiar to you. I'll make a video about it. For the meantime, we will now proceed with the fourth composer who is Father Manuel Maramba, OSB. Ang OSB nung sinerge ko, Order of 